Hi guys. Hope you had a wonderful Halloween. Um, I know I haven't been on in forever. Not sure if anybody missed me or not, but I've been super busy with um, the clothing line. And I've got a couple of new things to show you guys. Um, we did have, an, and I wanted to change the babies because they've all got their little Halloween outfits on. Um, oh, she's lost her little mitt. Uh, here's little Daisy in her little Halloween outfit. And she also had a, a hat, um, the other mitt, some booties. And, um, where's the other booty? And a little pair of bummy pants. Um, that were made by Under the Willow Tree. So we're going to change her first, since she's here. Um, let's see. Some of the clothes I've picked out that I'm going to put on the end. Some I have no idea what I'm going to do. There's so many pretty things. I've gotten here recently and I've made recently um, I wish I had enough babies to put all my new stuff on um, but I don't unfortunately hear my little one in there singing he's happy today on this fall back day Daylight savings time, I guess. I hope y'all turned your clock back so you'll be ready for school tomorrow. My goodness gracious. What are you singing in there, little man? So, let's see. I want to keep these all together. Because they're so teeny tiny, I will lose the pieces. So, I will put them all in his bummies. Or her bummies. That's that outfit down. This one on her. It's a cute little mermaid gown that I made on the short sleeves, although it's winter time. That's okay. She's always kept really warm underneath her blanket. I hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween. You got lots and lots of candy. Love to know what you guys dressed up as if you dressed up this Halloween. I, unfortunately, lo I love Halloween and I usually dress up for Halloween, but I did not get a chance to um, this year because I was rushed and um, we unfortunately lost a member of our family Halloween morning. Um, so things were a little hectic Halloween day. Um, but my son, I made him a little ghost outfit in Memphis. And he, and it's a little ghost. Oh, isn't she sweet? It fits her perfectly. And there's her little nightgown. She's all ready to go. I guess I'm going to have to move her. Um, we're going to be changing a bunch of babies today because everybody is in their Halloween outfits. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, we had a death in the family, so... Um, Memphis went as a little ghost, and um, Keegan went as Pikachu. Uh, so here is, I'm not changing Salem today, because I did not put her in a Halloween costume. She's so beautiful, I could not find anything for her, other than the princess outfit she already had on. So we put her in this beautiful um, rose gown that was made by me, with her little matching hair bow, and I think she looks gorgeous, and it's really soft material. Um, so, so soft, and she looks beautiful in it. So, I'm going to leave her in it, but I wanted to show it to you. And let's see here, and then we have Luna. I'm not sure what I'm going to put Luna in. I did want to try this new outfit that we came up with, which is Little Christmas Sloth. Pants with little suspenders um, and a cute little hat that matches it. I wanted to see what she looked like in it um, because it is her size. Look, Miss Daisy, calm down, baby. So 
So this was her Halloween onesie outfit. And she had little booties and little mitts and little hat. And a onesie that matched that was obviously made by me. Um, we've got lots and lots and lots of cute stuff coming for Christmas. I've got the, um, the suspender line. Um, and then we have, you know, the sleepers. There's a little sloth sleeper uh, with a little hat. Um, I've got some polar bears. Um, I have some plaid reindeer uh, fabric. I have some owl Christmas fabric. Um, I have some unicorn Christmas fabric. Uh, what else do I have? I have some beautiful um, different color and different size trees. Um, they're like geometric shaped trees. Um, that's on white fabric. That's really cute. Um, um, a couple other things. Let's let's go this way with this one. This one was actually made for a 13 inch. So even though Luna is tiny, it's not about 15 inches. Um, it fits her. Ooh, I think it was. It fits her well. <laughs> but um it's a little snug so I don't want to pull it over her head so we're going to pull it out from her bottom you getting the Easter eggs yeah you going to go play with Easter eggs try not to drag them all over the house okay yes okay. much easier doing it this way And if you didn't know from previous videos, that is what an envelope opening on the baby onesie is for. So when they have something on their onesie or um, they have poopy up their back, so you can fold down that envelope side and pull it, um, pull it off through their bottom versus going over their head. This time it was just, I just didn't want to pull anything tight over Luna's sweet face. So. Let's get all this mess together. Me and my lovely OCD, I've got to have everything together and put up. Otherwise, I feel like I've lost pieces. And I don't want to lose my pieces to my cute little outfits. Some of these are uh, still available in my Etsy shop. Um, it's https colon forward slash forward slash etsy dot com forward slash shop Selena's Willow Tree. That's capital S E L E N A S capital W I L L O W capital T R E E. Um, so that's that. Let's try, um, let's try this. I do not want to put a shirt on her, even though she's supposed to wear one with it. I think she's going to look cute without one. And since she's a baby, it doesn't really matter. And I'll, I tend to keep them covered up anyway, so they don't get cold. And yes, I know they're not real. It's just nice to pretend. I don't want anybody commenting that I'm crazy. Come on, Luna, get your toes in there, girl. Mommy always tends to put on clothes that are smaller than you are. Would you a train? Do you see a train? Yeah. yeah. Go play with it. Okay. Cause it'd probably be easier if I put some saran wrap or something on your. Now these are made to be like jogger style, not necessarily um, preemie pants style. I like the baggy look, kind of at the ankles. Um, I think it looks cute on the babies. 
So I do do a jogger style uh, pants. They're so super cute. Because they're twisted. Yeah, and twisted. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. And I made a, this pair has actually got the coordinating um, stripes with the sloth uh, patch on the back. Whereas this one has the sloths on the straps and the um, coordinating patch on the back. And I also have the blue that matches the, um, the pants. So you can do either way. And here's what that set would look like with it, which is really cute as well. And as you can tell, it's very simple and quick to put on. Oh, those are cute too. Actually cute together. Um, I might make a set with both of these on there together like that. That's really cute. And then she has her little hat. Oh my gosh. It doesn't get much cuter than that, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Oops, how sweet is she? Come here, girl. Look at that. How sweet is she? Her little knot hat and her little suspenders. This is the back. Like I said, these, these are both of them piled together, but um, still think it's kind of cute the way it is. So that's Miss Luna. I'm going to leave her in that right for right now because I like that. I think it's really cute. Oh my goodness. Daisy, you go over here with Cece Luna. Um, got this baby that I need to change out of. This was, whew, she's a big one. This was on one of our other Halloween gowns with a custom-made uh, Halloween um, headpiece. Uh, custom-made booties and mitts. See what we can change you in, Gertie Girl, because you're a big one. Let's see. What do I have? To be honest with you, I don't have anything out that's big enough for her right now, so let's set her aside. I won't change her later. There's her little hat that matches the outfit, but I like the little hair bow that I made for it. Alright, so this is a new baby that I just made. Let me see if it's gross. It's this wild hair he's got going on. Um, he was born, actually, on Halloween morning at 1 a.m., um, I finally, I rooted his last hair, um, Halloween morning. So here he is, and this is his little Halloween outfit. This is Dean by Pat Moulton. This is the second one I've done. I did sell the first one, and I missed this sculpt so much, I had to have another one. So I, I actually had two kits already, so... I made me a second one, and I rooted him with these, a new kind of hair, and oh my gosh, his hair is so soft. I know you can't tell how soft it is, but I really like it. It's, um, when it's wet, it's kind of got a little ringlet type curl to it. It's really cute. And this was the hat that I had, uh, to go with it, but obviously his hair is so pretty, I didn't want to mess it up, so I, did, I left the hat off. We actually have the sloth um, sleeper, and I'm going to take his sleeper off this way too. Um, 
to go with him. No, I don't know if I can get it off that way. He is overstuffed. <laughs> I wanted him to be heavier than he was supposed to be. And so he is way overstuffed, which it'll settle um, some of it with time. And then he'll be perfect. So I've just got to wait for it to settle some. But for right now, he's a little bit... Oh, and he has a sound box, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I hurt your little arm, sweet boy? Hollering mama. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to fix that hair again. All right. And his hair is longer than most newborns, but I tend to like my hair a little longer anyway. Sure, I didn't put a tag on, so I'm not sure which sides. I guess it doesn't matter since it's pretty much usually I have a tag on the inside of them that it will tell you. Um, front or back, uh, it's got my logo on it, but I did not put a tag in this because I just made it really quickly last night and I just wanted to see if it would fit before I did anything else to it. So, so far, so good. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks really, really nice. Let's see if we can get your big fat feet in here though. That's going to be the issue. Because again, this was not made for his size. That's a damn what this. It was made for a preemie, but not one with Toes this big, but they fit just perfect. Yep, it fits just perfect. Alrighty. Get your hair. And we're going to put a hat on you. <laughs> sold the first one. I missed him so much. He's such a sweet, sweet little boy. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I needed to turn it around a little bit. My seams right here. You need to see that. We put your hat on backwards, sweet pea. Let's try again. Let's try again. I wasn't paying attention. No, I wasn't. Not paying attention at all. Okay, there's the seam. So that's the back. Can't even put the gold clothes I made on you right, can I? We got issues, don't we, baby? Oh, look how sweet. So there's Dean, all dressed. Isn't he look cute? Look at them cute little toes. He's such a little sweetheart. There he is. Again, he was born Halloween. Put him down. All his things together. And we've got two more that I need to change. Where are his booties? Um, Zopal, my little alien baby, she was wearing this earlier. 
I mean, I put her in a cute little vintage. Let me show you her. Let's see if I can get her out real quick. I put her in a cute little vintage um, long pant jumper that I won at in Kansas. Look there, ain't she cute? It's adorable, them little toes sticking out the bottom. She's so cute. She's got her little lovey. She's been holding one, two, in her little spot. Just put her back in her little spot. See if I can without breaking something. And she's actually in a sling that's hanging above all the babies. She's in a special spot. Because she's a special little girl, aren't you, sweetie? I'm a special little girl. There's nobody like me. Of course, there's nobody like Salem either. Okay. So, on to Miss Ireland. Let's see Mom, here. Yes, sir. Where's one of my super bases? Where? Oh, my goodness. That's where it is. Uh, it's right there. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you do that. And I do have an outfit for Miss Pris here, so no, we'll go do her. No, it's not here. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Okay, grab Luna's box. Luna has a whole lot more stuff. Than... That one's pretty too. Than, um, Ireland does. Um, okay. So I have this cute little outfit for her. This was actually my daughter's dress when she turned one. Um, she wore this dress in one of her pictures. She was teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, so I want, I've been, it's been sitting here forever and I think it's a cute little party dress and not really ready to dress everybody in Christmas stuff yet, and I have so much, so many Christmas patterns to, to work. I still haven't gotten, um, but the sloth done yet, so I'd like to have everybody kind of in something different, um, so I had a variety, so I'm going to wait on putting Christmas outfits on, um, Ireland, Salem, and um, Priscilla, and Riley, and you know, I don't think I'll, I'll put one on Cadence and uh, Kiki here either. Um, ooh, wild, wild hair, girl, wild hair. So this is Priscilla. She was made by me as well. Um, she is Denise Pratt's Priscilla Sculpt. Um, I did not change her name. Then them little lips remind me of Priscilla and Elvis. So I just kept her name Priscilla. So. And the way I painted her little lips, she does have a pronounced poutiness about her. There's that outfit. I'm going to put her in this one. She thinks she's just going to look beautiful in this. She looks good in pink. And this was bought. This dress is, this my daughter is 14 years old now. So this dress is 13 years old. And still... 
looks beautiful. But it's neat to be able to put my babies in something that my real babies have worn. Um, if I have any mothers that watch, it's, if you happen to do the same thing, it kind of brings back memories of your own babies being little. Good memories, I hope. They're good memories for me. Oh, I'm shaking the tar out of you. That one wants to be a pistol. And it is a little big for her because, again, my daughter was a year old when she wore it. But it's not too big. Oh, look at that. Doesn't she look beautiful? Except for this wild hair going everywhere. The wild hair going on. What is she doing? Cause she got wild hair anyway. She was only my second root. Um, and I do love her hair. It's, I think it's nicely done. It's very, very sparsely rooted. And I think that's why it gets so wild sometimes. Because there, there's just hair going everywhere. And of course, um, I did not know at the time that the cheaper the hair you use, the, the cheaper the effect you get. So, of course, I use some really cheap hair. And um, it's not as pretty and flowing as I would like for it to be. It, you know, as like Dean's is. Dean's was very nice. Um, this is very soft. This is more coarse hair here. But it is still, you know, I, I like the way it was done. Um, I think I did a good job rooting it. And again, it is my baby. I'm not selling it and I'm not showing it or, you know, anything like that. So it's my preference as to how I want her to look. And as long as I'm happy with her, I guess that, that it's okay, right? It's all that matters. And I am happy with her. I think she's beautiful. For my second baby I ever did, I think she's gorgeous. Um, and the rooting job, it, I think, is phenomenal compared to, like I said, the time that, that I had uh, in the experience that I had in. Let's see, do you want that one? I don't really think I want that one. Do you want this one? Do you want this one? That's much better. In your face is the other one. It's still in your face, but not quite as bad. What are you singing, buddy? Yeah, where are you going? And there's Miss Priscilla. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, doesn't she just look gorgeous? Bring her to you. There she is. Her hair all nice and fixed. She's ready to go back in her seat. Come here, big guy. That's her seat. Come put Dean back in his seat. Okay. Alright. Now, who's next? Miss Ireland's next. Y'all know I'm a sucker for Ireland. Ireland is my Noemi Rourke's baby. It's also a Salem and Daisy. Um, Ireland, though, is just, she's got my heart. There's my Ireland. Isn't she beautiful? She's always so cranky. Maybe that's why I love her so much, because this was her little outfit. There's her little hat and a little bib, mittens, booties, and, um, and her little, uh, joggers that were made by me okay. so cute. really are cute little joggers <laughs> I 
and the div is reversible. Well, blue snap on the opposite side to coordinate with the beautiful purple fabric. Alright. Let's take our stuff in here so we don't lose it. And again, some of this stuff, I'm not sure if I still have any of the blue uh, on Etsy. But I know I still have some of the, um... oh, and I forgot I've got to change Miss Olivia, too. So we'll get to see Olivia today as well. I haven't seen Olivia in a while. Okay, what is, okay, this is what we're doing here. So we're taking this off. Um... And this is not a Christmas outfit either. But it is a vintage style um, jumper with a, a beautiful little uh, bonnet that I made. And I wanted to try it on Ireland and see how it looked. Because it is the first one that I've made. So you're going to get to see what it looks like with me for the first time. We'll be using this later. Got a picture of Eeyore on this. I love Eeyore, so yeah, I made her a little shirt. I'm gonna sleeper shirt. I'm gonna put a sleeping Eeyore on the front of it. Okay. Let's see, this is the um, the jumper that I came up with can't really see, but there's very, very faintly um, little dumbos and stars and uh, flags all done in a very, very pale gray color. And I have um, beautiful um, silk ribbon as the, um, as the ties. And I did have it, I did do it kind of jogger style, but not really. Um, I just love the cuffs on, on these little pants. I just think they're, just accentuates their little, the cute little legs so much more. Um, so. Oh, you're cute, baby. Oh, cool, your toes. Need some feet. 